everyone welcome back for another whiskey review today looking at this a very special sherry not a sherry bomb sherry whiskey from scotland eight year old darkness um quite excited to see what it's all about let's go It's a young whiskey. It's a single malt whiskey um, that initially aged in ex bourbon casks and then uh, moved into specially coopered smaller 80 or below litre casks um, made up of first fill. Well, they've recoupered these um, smaller casks and uh, kept, it, kept them smaller than 80 litres and first full sherry car so i'm guessing they put some staves together to make these particular cars so spent bulk of its life just under eight years in ex bourbon cask and then moved into these first fill um sherry cask which has supposed to let go of some amazing color flavors and aroma it's reasonably light in color you can see my face there it is and um I mean, I read up on it a little bit online and everyone's raving about it. Um, and I was quite excited that it's come available in New Zealand. Bottled at a very generous 47.8% ABV. Um, I respect the fact they have put an age statement on it because they could have called it just the darkness or something else because they have some older releases as well. But um, they've put on there what it is. It's an age year old single malt whiskey um doesn't say which distillery the whiskey is coming from i'm guessing they independently picked up some barrels had a bit of man experiment and here it is for our pleasure in new zealand finally now lately we've had some other distillers tried this as well um, you know, ex bourbon cast, so you've got an amazing amount of honey and vanilla, um, smoothness of tropical fruits, and then put it into the sherry octaves, you know, the 50 liters or in this case 80 liters um, casks to, especially the first fill, impart loads of color, flavor, and an aroma. Um, let's see if that's happened in this case as well. Mmm. There's raisins straight away. Wow. Loads of raisins. Definitely sweeter on the palate. There's just a hint of cinnamon. Wow. <laughs> There's a sort of um back and forth with the sweetness and uh spice definitely not peppery i wouldn't say it's peppery um i said cinnamon on purpose because i thought it was sweeter uh more and then just a hint of cinnamon um but it's not harsh as a pepper this underlying tropical fruit sweetness and i don't know why but i'm getting a little bit of citrus sort of character Mmm, very nice. Very interesting on the nose. Um, and quite a peculiar um, ABV they've bottled at because, you know, you get some of the sherry whiskies at Castrin, you know, like the um, Glen Farkless 105 or one of my favorites, Abela Abena. But the ABV they bottle at, um, it can be a bit rough and uneven. And they are young whiskies as well, you can tell around probably the same age but this one at 47.8 seems a lot more settled i can approach it on the nose um without adding any water yet really nice this is good i'm enjoying it so far 
I mean, I forget how much this room tax for, but it is just under hundred bucks or just over hundred dollars. So it puts it in the same territory. You get a car strength Glenn Farkas one of five for. There's a little bit earthy notes coming through now on the nose. Good. One thing I can say is um, it does not at all smell um, or the nose is not spirity. I mean, 80 year old is still a long period of time, but it's developed a pretty good amount of character on the nose. All right, let's see what it's like on the palette. Mm. There it is. Loads of spice. <laughs> Where was it on the nose? There was no... Lots of spice. It's dying down very quickly. The spice is dying down. It's letting the raisin, the honey sweetness come forward. Loads of honey. Wow. Wow. I wouldn't quite say it's a <laughs> sherry bomb, but there's quite a bit going on there, but it's not <laughs> blowing up my palate with the spice, which is good. Had the spice up front, it died down and then the honey came through. Mm. Very oily. Very, very oily. Wow, it's quite chewy. It's got quite a lot of. Uh, I mean, forty-seven point eight. It'd be unfiltered. It's a young whiskey. It is a bit rough around the edge, but overall, quite good. Hey, look, I actually, if I haven't said it enough already. I respect the fact these guys have put the eight statement on the it is what it is try it for yourself like i am now instead of hiding around the bush and just coming up with some clever name called whatever um special masters distillers limited edition release or whatever it's called the darkness eight year old so we added a little bit of water just to see what happens Mmm, a lot more spice on the nose. I mean, that honey and raisin is lingering. Let's see what it's like on the palate with a tiny, tiny bit of water. Mmm. So it's had an opposite effect on the palate the spice on the palate is dying down it's letting a lot more of the honey and the vanilla come forward in terms of the finish it's lingering i've got a little bit of spice in the back of the palate the loads of raisin just swirling all around the palate giving me amazing sweetness mm. quite enjoying it this is quite cool I want to try some of the older stuff now. <laughs> Let's see if we can get some of that into New Zealand first. Well, if you're liking the content, please like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the very near future with another whiskey review. See you. Bye-bye.